Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a question. And the question says that a cast iron bearing block is shown in figure one. Draw the following views of the block. A, an elevation in the direction of the arrow A. B, a view in the direction of arrow B. C, a plan. Choose first angle production. Now, the first thing we have to do is for me to show you, give you an insight of what it means for you to draw the views of the given figure. You are not asked to do this. What you are asked to do is to draw this in first angle projection, the figure shown in the right hand side. Now, what I'm about to do now is to give an insight of how you can solve other questions involving orthographic projection, right? Now, I'm going to reproduce this view here, and this is what I'm actually trying to do, which is the same as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Now, Nobody will ask you to reproduce this figure is an explanation, right? What I'm going to do now, I'll be constructing it at the right hand side. So I am not going to show this image. Let me remove this at the right hand side. So whatever I'm drawing, I'll be drawing it at the right hand side. But just watch and see. And we're told to look at the direction A here. Look at the direction arrow A. This is arrow A facing the side. right and the direction arrow b is arrow b facing the side and the plan looking it from the top right the plan is always coming from the top So now we have uh, successfully drawn this out. Is that again? Okay? It's for me to start analyzing this for you. Now you can see that I have drawn out the figure, right? And drawn out the different views associated with the figure. Looking from this side, A, that is what our front television. Looking from this side, b that is our end view and the plan right so we are told to draw in orthographic projection so the first thing you do is just draw the quadrant take your meter rule and you draw your y-axis and you draw your x-axis and you measure five millimeter upward right either you measure five or ten whatever choice is yours so you measure five millimeter upward and you have this and you measure five millimeter downward you have this just like i've been doing in my previous videos now also five millimeter to the left then five millimeter to the right You can see that so this is what we have here the total height of the figure is given to be what 100 i explained to you saying 30 plus 40 70 plus the radius which is what from here to here that is 30 so everything making 100 so i'm going to measure the total height of 100 total height of 100 0 200 Can you see that? And the total length of 119. So from zero again, this is my reference point here. From zero again, I'll measure 119 at this point. Now take it off there.
you can see that so what i'll simply do here is to according to what you can see from the diagram from here to this point here is given to be what um 45 so I'll measure 45 from 0 to what to 45 then after 45 20 from 0 to what 20 is that the key? And I can just take it off a little bit. Oh, good. Because when you look at this figure here, you're going to see this shape here. And that's the shape I'm drawing out. And the height is 15. So I measure 15 upward. From 0 to 15. Then I'll close it up. And I'll close it up too. I'll close it up too. You can see that? And here too. And here too. Now the next thing is from here to here is 10, 10, 10. So we'll do 10 in three different places. So let's take that up 10 in three different places from 0 to 30. So 10, 20, 30. And I'll move align this way. Just a little bit like this. Come here to this way. Just a little bit like this. Come here this way. Just a little bit like this. Now, from here, from the beginning point to this point here, it's given to be what? 15. You need from here 15 and from here 15 also because when you look from this side you're going to see this arc here and that's what i'm saying here so i'll measure 15 from 0 to 15 then from 0 to 15. so i am going to close it up here close it up to Close here up to come here to close here, close here, close here. You can see that. And the next thing I'll do is to get the center of this figure. You just come from this point. Since from here to here is 20, right? Meaning that the center is what is 10. So any of the two you want to do. So I'll just take it up draw my center line now from the top here I'm going to measure 30 because the radius is given as 30 downward so let's measure the 30 with my compass with the compass I have here I'll measure 30 right from 0 to 3 is 30 then I'll place it here at this point I'll mark here so from this point here I'm going to draw an arc you can see that I'll draw an arc so that arc I'm drawing is making this to the center of this point here long short long short long short long right there is the center there all good then i'm going to join these ends straight down here and this ends straight down here and i'm going to take in these two this way you can see that and there's a circle in between and the rest of the circle is given to be 15 since the diameter is 30 this is what 15 so you measure 15 on your meter with this way from 0 to 15 and you place at the center here and you draw another circle right so i can easily taken it out 
Let's see that. So you can just close it up here. And close it up here. So this is what we have when you're looking at it from the side. Right? You see this circle, which is this circle. You see this arc, which is this arc, right? And this point here and this point which is this point and this point then here so one thing we make understand is the autogary view is only just one dimension one plane it's not taken now and this is what we have here so that is not all the next thing we have to draw is since in the first angle projection the plan will be under the elevation this is the elevation so the plan will just be need the elevation so I'll just project this downward this way and I'll project this is already down and the thickness of the plan right we've already done this 119 with the elevation so the width of the plan is 60 so I'm going to measure 60 on this point so from zero right starting from this point here to 60 then that is the center line here right so I can easily take it out Here also, I'll take it here out too. Here also, I'll take it here out too. Here also, I'll take it here out too. All together, and when I start projecting it, this inner circle, you will see this curve. Right, which is this curve as a straight line looking from the top you see that a straight line that is why on the plan right you view it as a straight line take line this way and here also take line this way now this circle in you cannot see it from the top right so what you simply do here to show that there's something there you're going to use hidden line to represent it hidden line We also hit the line. In the center line, there will be a normal center line here. You can see that. Then here also looking in from the top, you cannot see this figure here. So that will be hidden line too. You can see that and looking at it from the top you can also see this here because this is covering this so you see it as a straight as a hidden line and here too you see it as a hidden line so this is what we have here viewing this image on the top and then there's a circle in front so I'll just take my meter rule and the center line is around this point, long, short, long, short, long. So where they meet here, that is where that circle you see on top here, which is the circle we replace. And the rest of the circle is given to be 5, right? I can just measure 5 on my meter rule, from 0 to half here. And I'll place it at that point and I'm going to draw the circle. There we go. So I will take him out. You can see that what we have there. So we are done drawing the what the plan. Now the next thing we'll be doing here is to draw the end view. So I'll use my 45 degree and draw an inclined line from the center point here this way. And I'll project this end to meet it here which I am going to project upward this way right and I'll close it up from here you can see that so what I will just do is if you are looking at it from this side but this is where we are looking at it from now looking at it from this side 
we're going to see here you see here right and we represented with a straight line but look at it in a straight line so what i'll do is i'll just project this to help me out this will be thickened this will be thickened this also see that the straight line is also can see that and um, all this from here to here including the inside one which is like this right all this here to here here to here and here to here we see them as a straight line we are looking at it from this direction right and from here up to this point here we see it as a straight line which is from here up to this point so i'm going to draw a straight line from this point here right and here and from here also we'll draw a straight line and here can see that and i'll close it up here you can see that then this we have a circle at this point here so we've seen that circle looking at it from this side you can't see this circle right so we've seen it as an hidden line we've seen it as what a hidden line so i'll use the help of this to help me to channel where i'm actually going to so here this circle will be hidden line And this is my center line then this is my circle here see that's here the line you can see that then you will not see this looking in from this side you can't see this this is in between the figure which is this shape shape here so we are using it as a hidden line if you trace it on the same point and this is what we have here we have successfully drawn out the elevations of this given figure here as you can see right we've drawn it out so um this is the front elevation looking at the direction a from this side this is the plan this is the plan looking from the top right and this is the end view here so if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.